Boxing Voice. I'm here with Troy King, the terror, or the Tijuana Terror. I heard you're getting back in the ring. Yeah, man, I'm getting in there September 26th, next month. Easy work. Is there a fear in your mind that your opponent... What the fuck is you talking about fear? Uh, I'm saying that your opponent might pull out of the fight. It happened two times prior when we shot the two weeks out video. Oh, yeah. Well, if he pull out, then I'm going to go down there, go to his crib, and pull him back in. Okay, and uh, what else has been going on since your first professional fight? Um, how have you grown as a fighter going into your second fight? Here you go asking me these dumbass questions, man. You know I work every day. This shit is every day. Camp every day. This shit is easy work, man. I'm, I was grown when I started boxing. So how are you going to ask me how I grow as a fighter? I was grown when I got in it. Okay, and when did you exactly get into it? I was born a fighter, man. That's all I could say. That was it. I'm, I was born a fighter, bro. And what camp are you going to be uh, working with for this fight? All the camps. Uh, will it be Eddie Croft in your corner? And who will your corner be in Tijuana? Uh, Eddie. Eddie. Most definitely Eddie, man. He know what he's doing out there. No disrespect to any other coaches or whatever. But uh, me and Eddie vibe good. He don't hold no punches. He, he know what he's doing. He's been in there, and, uh, and in there on an elite level. So I'm going uh, to be in there with Eddie. So is Eddie Croft um, going to be your full-time coach from now on? What did I just say, bro? Well, it sounded that way, but I'm trying to uh, repeat the question to make sure that I got it right. Bro, Eddie is going to be my full-time coach. Do you hear that, Eddie? All right, then. Okay, and... I assume that if you're working with Eddie, you're in the Virgil Hunter um, gym. Are you getting any good work in there, working with a lot of guys about the same weight as you? Yeah, but I really be trying to work with bigger guys once again. Some of them guys in there is kind of small, even though they are talented, but it's not about the talent level of the guy. It is, but it's not. I need a guy that's going to put pressure on me. He needs the talent and the size because I'm, I'm kind of a big welterweight. So I need bigger guys to push me. So, you know, I'll be sparring middleweights and junior middles and all that. You know, it's easy work. I'm you, sweet in there. You and Andre Berto, I keep seeing you popping up on Berto's Instagram and him hollering back at you. What's going on with you and Berto, man? Uh, that's my dude, man. Berto, cool. He good peoples. I've always admired his style of boxing. I don't care what nobody else say about him. He a good boxer. He fast. He explosive. And uh, he lucky he ain't fighting a left-hander because I'll be in that camp and I'll be on your ass, bro. The Boxing Voice.